Welcome to Peace and Satire Vlogs, a place where we talk about something for five minutes and then just stop. So let's get right on. Today we're going to talk about the 23rd Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Specifically about his pros and cons and why people may or may not like him. To help us, we are going to use a now infamous video made by Canada's Conservative Party. Let's take a look. Well, some interesting resumes we have here. Are they for a job in an office building? Let's talk about Justin. When you say his name like that, it doesn't sound very professional. I see he's included his picture. Using my limited knowledge on getting jobs, I can very clearly tell you that putting a large inspirational headshot of yourself on your job application doesn't really help you out that much. Let's start with the experience section. Nothing about balancing a budget or making a payroll. So is he trying to be an investment manager or a stockbroker? Didn't he say budgets balance themselves? He did, but you're totally missing the context. What sort of commitment do we need to make to stabilize our budget? The, the commitment needs to be uh, a commitment to grow the economy, and the budget will balance itself. Okay, it sounds even worse with context. And what does the experience section say about keeping us safe? Well, he wants to send winter jackets to Syria. First of all, that in no way answered my question. Second of all, will giving helpless people clothes and protecting his country are two very important things. They're at the same time totally different. Now, prepare yourself for a response so shocking that it actually questioned my sanity. Well, he wants to send winter jackets to Syria. Like that will stop ISIS? Like that will stop ISIS. Well, now that you do mention it, Justin Trudeau's plan to stop ISIS by sending winter coats to refugees does sound a bit dumb. He's like a celebrity who says things before thinking them through. Yeah, but what this guy said is just A-OK. -okay. So what are his policies? Maybe if you put the glasses you had on earlier back on, you could see what they are. Legalizing marijuana. Maybe it's because of what he said before. Like that will stop ISIS? But I'm just gonna go on a limb here and I'm gonna say it's for medical reasons, not because he had it before. I have been in my past uh, a very rare user of marijuana, I think five or six times in my life that I've taken a puff. Is that the biggest problem we have to solve? Well, it's not like he made it such an important part of the Liberal Party platform. Legalization of marijuana will be part of, uh, of the Liberal Party platform. He has some growing up to do. So the Conservatives think that this is grown up Prime Ministry behavior? <laughs> and apparently this is not. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your new home. Marhaba. All because he smoked marijuana and had long hair. All that made him immediately ineligible to be a Prime Minister. And he says he's going to cancel income splitting for families. I guess pension splitting for seniors is next. This part of the video clearly shows what I don't like about it. It just keeps using predictions and offhand facts about Justin Trudeau as to justify what it's doing. And what is it doing? It's not misinforming us, but it's not giving us the whole story. It's making us think that Justin Trudeau is unprepared or just not ready for the chance to be a prime minister. And that's clearly what it says at the end. Justin Trudeau, he's just not ready. I know Justin Trudeau isn't perfect, but he's not bad either. And what this commercial was trying to do was make voters think that their insecurities about him being too young were right. I don't agree with much of what he says, but that's because I don't know much about him. If I got to know a lot more about Justin Trudeau, then I would know that he's a good person. He might be young, but he certainly is ready for the position of Prime Minister, because he already is. So those are my real thoughts on Justin Trudeau and the commercial. Tell me what I should do next in the comments below. I'll see you next time in Peace and Saturday Vlogs. Thank you.